Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now I've discovered something very very interesting that I think people will be extremely interested in and that is the Gemini 2.5 cookbook. Instead of taking a few weeks to make an app that uses Gemini, instead you can use their cookbook to make something very very quickly and because the API is currently free, if you can work out how to solve a problem and then you can charge money for the solution, right? So an example of this is Harbor. This is an app that I made. Um, this took me a very, very long time because I didn't follow the process uh, that we're going through now. Uh, instead, I went through this entire thing myself using AI without giving AI the cookbook. But I'm gonna show you the cookbook today. We're gonna go through it and it's very, very interesting. Now, if you want these updates before they go on YouTube or if you're just generally struggling with AI coding or SEO, things like that, definitely check out the school community. It's very, very active. It's currently Monday and there's nine people online. People are really, really enjoying the course. And special announcement is that Dagan, who is the CMO or um, Chief Marketing Officer of um, Craft Agency, which is my agency, uh, has decided to join and he will be doing a backlinking course on the school as well. So there's an SEO course for on-page, there'll be an SEO course for backlinking, and there's currently a module for AI development basics, as well as all my prompts in one place. This is not just your bog standard, you know, a load of links on a page. This is literally going through every single thing. So if you're struggling with anything that you see on this video, then maybe check out the school and it will definitely help you. With that being said, let's get into the point of this video, which is this cookbook right here. If you don't know what basically what cookbook is, is either quick starts or examples, right? I prefer to use examples personally but you can also use um, uh, quick starts, right? So we can see here, for example, we have agents function calling barista bot. Don't even know what that means. Analyze a video, right? So if we open this up, you'll see that this actually contains code to analyze a video, right? So you can see here, this downloads a video, uploads a video, blah, blah, blah. That's the video. And then um, who, you are a zoo zoologist whose job it is to name animals in videos sure why the hell not please identify the um animal in the video and then it manages to um identify the animal right so let's say you had a use case where you needed to analyze video right so what you can do is you can either open this in collab or even more easily right you could just come here drag this down like that right and you can go to something like Klein or RuCode, and you can say, make me an app that I can use on my computer easily. Uh, so we'll say, is this Python? It should be Python, right? Uh, P-Y-N-B, I believe that means Python. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll say, make me a simple Python plus Flask app, which I can upload a YouTube video link Actually, I don't know if they can download that. If I can upload a link to a downloadable video, it downloads the video and analyzes it for me, right? So this is just an example. I'll put this on plan first. I'm gonna put this on Gemini. Um, I found that coding, um, if, if you're coding Gemini, it's better to use Gemini, if that makes sense, right? instead of using Claude, for example. If you're coding Claude, it's better to use Claude. So we'll send this and we'll see how this does, right? So remember, I have zero experience in uh, video uh, analysis, like literally zero fucking... <laughs> I've never done this before, right? Okay, so now this is on act mode, as you can see here. I'll be deleting this API key at the end of this video. Why is this on Sonnet? Cancel that. Do not want Sonnet. I want um, Google Gemini. Okay. Sorry, you were on the wrong model. Okay. So now I should use Gemini. It's not thinking anymore. I, I, I don't really like cold thinking particularly, to be honest with you. Everyone raves about it, but I'm not a big fan. So it's 1905 or 1906 now in Ireland, right? I would say without a cookbook, this would take me three hours, four hours, maybe. 
Let's see how long it actually takes with a cookbook. Okay, so it's installing the SDK, right? Uh, which is this Google Generative AI uh, SDK. If this can build me something in such a short amount of time on Flask, right, that actually works, that would be incredible. And if you want to make a SaaS from this, right, what you can do is, like, I'll just tell you this, I'm not going to do this in this video, but you use Python for the back end, right? I believe that's back end. Don't, if you're a coder, don't laugh at me. All right, I'm sorry for being a noob. You use Flask for the front end, right? And then all you have to do really is then run this through augment code, which has all the Stripe documentation and everything. So you build it first and then you run it through augment code, right? Which is currently free and then wrap Stripe around it and user accounts and, um, you know, super base and all that stuff, right? All you need to do is build something that doesn't have authentication. All it does is work. It's on Python, it's on Flask, right? And then you build around it. Instead of doing the way that people always do, which is they, and also I do, is they try and build the entire SaaS at once, right? Instead, what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build like the, the SaaS, in inverted commas, and then I could use augment code, I'm sure of it, I haven't done this before, but I'm absolutely sure of it, that it would work to then build the wrapper like Stripe and things like that around it. Wait. Is this saying this is done already? There's no way this is done already. That in two minutes, nah, it's impossible. I refuse to believe this is gonna work. Uh, it's still not quite working. There's a couple of issues here. There's an indent block here that shouldn't be 113. What do you mean you are absolutely right? <laughs> not me, mate, it's the, it's the error logs. All right, let's see if this works. If this works like this quickly, I. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is not the only use of this, right? You can find something here for you guys. I'm absolutely sure of it, right? Authentication with OAuth. See, this is just really nice because I didn't know that Google Cloud had a CLI thing, right? So looking through these things is super, super useful, whether you plan on using this specific uh, use case or whether you plan on doing something else, right? It's just interesting to see what they have. I always recommend seeing what they have because you can find some super interesting things here. Like look, talk to documents with embeddings, right? Embeddings is something that I know is very useful. I haven't really got into it myself, but like I would love to learn embeddings. It basically what it does is it turns text into a series of numbers, right? So that it uses less tokens. Okay, so it's running. Uh, that took six minutes, right? Uh, so we'll just open this up. Okay, enter URL of a downloadable video. So we'll go here, we'll grab the uh, video from before. So there's the video here of the bear, right? I'm not expecting this to work. Let's just analyze this. Okay, so it didn't work. Please comply with the user agent policy. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to like what this means or anything. So we'll just send that here and see what happens. Okay, so it's just missing a user agent. It's really not, you know, particularly complicated. Let's just refresh this. Try this again. Okay, we got something. So it's downloaded. Uploading to Gemini. There's no way this is going to work, right? Wait, this looks like it might work. Well, it makes it makes sense, right? Because I'm using a cookbook. That's the whole point, but. Sending video to Gemini for analysis. Deleting Gemini file, local file deleted. The video shows American black bears. Holy shit, that is insane, right? So now you can kind of look through here and you can think, okay, so what else, what else is useful? Browser as a tool, what does that mean? No idea, sounds useful though, right? LLMs are powerful tools, but are not uh, intrinsically connected to live data sources, features like Google search, grounding, blah, blah, blah. This notebook will guide you through Three examples of using a browser as a tool with a Gemini API using both the live multimodal API and traditional turn based conversations. So what you want to make your own stage hand? There you go, mate. Done. Uh, and then I saw one more that looks very interesting. Search Wikipedia using React. The notebook is a minimal implementation of React synergizing reasoning and acting language models with the Gemini 2.0 flash. You'll use a React prompting to configure a model to search Wikipedia to find the answer to users' questions. 
I mean, yeah, you could repurpose this into something that gives your LLMs knowledge, right, from Wikipedia. A lot of people talk shit about Wikipedia. I personally think Wikipedia is totally fine, um, but I understand why people don't like it. Working with charts, you know, there's all these different use cases. And this is, the, these are the examples, right? So there's also the quick starts. So we have file API, function calling, function calling, get started, get started. You know, all this good stuff, search grounding, which if you don't know, is basically ensuring AI, uh, when it does a search on Google, it actually gets the correct result. And then this one here, which is OAuth, which I'm very, very interested in. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. A lot to discover, a lot to look into. I really hope this was a useful video. Um, if you want to code an app with Gemini, this is exactly where you should start. I have never coded with Gemini, and I just managed to make a Flask slash Python um, you know, not SaaS, but software that I could now go to augment code and say, wrap this, wrap Superbase and Stripe or Firebase uh, and Stripe around this uh, software so that I can sell it as a SaaS. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school. It's not just your bog standard school. I'm putting my heart and soul into it and really trying to make it worth the money. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're a legend and peace out.